Welcome, welcome all to the, uh, March 27th game of Union Jack, Volume 3. Uh, just me. Just me, Raul. Okay. Let's go 21 Raul. Yeah, alrighty. Got 30 it. seconds. That's what I needed. Thanks. You have the letter B as your buzzer. That's B as in Babesiosis. Uh, it's a cattle disease. Okay. We're getting a little distortion here. 20 seconds. All right, we're on in 20. Ah, oh, holy mackerel. Okay, uh, listen up. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got Which that? is kind of useless with one player on. because the buzzers only come into play for playing a, a, a multiplayer. Alright, folks, see you on the other side. Three. It's your stick. Putting a softer, more kissable nail in your coffin. <coughs> yep. Which other space This came out, I believe, in 97, I believe. Because the dry came out in 98. Two that's bold and saucy, without being ostentatious. That's a it's great one. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, how you doing? Good, good to see ya. Yada yada yada. Well, all right, that's out of the way. So it's just you playing this time around, huh? Nothing to be ashamed of. Just don't let it happen again. Well, okay. let's get started. Lacey Phone Gear. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Love, soldier, fortune style. Okay. This one likes to go by possession is nine tenths of the law. This one can net Cookies you a host grand. Game, so. Okay, class, now that I've got your attention, it's time for Morality 101. Tell me what fairy tale you would learn this lesson from. If you live a destitute and squalid life or just a little bit stupid, steal a person's belongings and then murder him, from then on you will live happily ever after. So, which fairy tale teaches this? The old woman who lived in a shoe, Jack and the Beanstalk, Hansel and Gretel, or Goldilocks and the Three Bears? The old woman who lived in the shoe. No, the old woman who lived in the shoe is a pioneer in the field of beating your children. Bet you wish you'd pick this. Jack was stupid enough to exchange his cow for some magic beans. Then when the beanstalk grew, he stole the giant's stuff and then chopped down the beanstalk, killing him. Today, this would be called aggressive career management. Kids' toys I really like to see the Ingles get shingles. My dad's boyfriend has a bitch in stereo. And this one is, my dad's minivan is a bitchin' stereo. How does $2,000 sound? Okay. Heads up, here it comes. Considering its name, which car was most likely designed to carry up the four musicians to band practice and make trips to the grocery store in three distinct movements? Honda Accord, Ford Tempo, Honda Prelude, or Hyundai Sonata? A Sonata, isn't it? A Sonata is a piece of chamber music for up to four performers written in three distinct movements. <laughs> Four passengers and three distinct movements? I thought I told you to go before we left. Uh, no. Kingwood history All class. Right, pile happy. on pile. You stud. This one's called getting wet in history class. This one's worth a grand. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Suppose Marco Polo had played the kids game Marco Polo to find his destination on his most famous exploration. If he yelled, China, China, isn't it? Marco Polo spent 25 years exploring China. Well, it was born in Italy, so. Must be a bitch trying to get around the Great Wall with your eyes closed. Eh, it's not that easy. I knew I should have yeah, taken that left please. turn off quicker. Whatever it takes to make Jason Bateman a star. Would you be my neighbor in exchange for a favor? For your enjoyment, I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. $2,000 says you don't know this one. You okay. know, to get from Swaziland to Switzerland in a dictionary, you pretty much just have to turn the page. But if you take the most direct land route from Swaziland to Switzerland, which of these countries will you not pass Guyana's through? in South Syria, America, Italy, not in South Africa. Africa. The most direct land route from Swaziland in Southern Africa to Switzerland definitely doesn't pass through South America's Guyana. <laughs> 
But if you're heading to Swayze Land, then you pass through the land of dirty dancing and the country where ghosts like to do pottery. Okay. One of these things okay, is not like you have category. letters that ever fit. SPUD! You don't wanna blow it on Shake hands with SPUD! 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Hey, I hope you've been paying attention. You remember those two countries I mentioned a couple of questions ago? You yes, know, Switzerland, Switzerland and Swaziland. Which of these letters is in both countries' names? T, I, R, or E? That'd be nine both, actually. Well, look at you. Yeah. Why? Swazi. The letters S, W, Z, L, A, N, D, and I are all in both Switzerland and Swaziland. Of course, Thank you have three R parts. Some memory retention skills. Well, it's about time. I got to yada, my here, little buddy. Is that all quarters in your pocket? Open wide and get ready for... Is that a roll of quarters in your pocket or... And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, take a look at these doctor's notes and get ready to buzz and type in what you think the patient has. Patient suffers from callus on finger and sore shoulders. Paranoia involves a speedy always on his tail and a need to eat cherries. Seems to be driving him crazy, going out of his mind. What does this patient have? I don't know this one. Too bad you didn't type this. <gasps> the same malady we all had in the 80s, Pac-Man fever. Pac -Man and thanks fever. to the song, I'm... we all understood why. Doctor, doctor, my child has Pac-Man fever. What can I do? Don't give him any more damn quarters. <laughs> Trevor Birch is a child's kid. Do we really need two any letters? The stupid French people. Here we have, do we really need two Eddie Vedders? <laughs> you get this one right and it's $3,000. Think fast. <laughs> Say Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam spontaneously divided into two little Eddies. Scientifically speaking, which Pearl Jam song title best represents the result of this process? Nothing man, alive, Jeremy, or daughter? <laughs> I think it'd be Jeremy. I've listened to Jeremy before, but I would guess Jeremy. It would be a guess. In case you're wondering, <laughs> in science, a daughter is the first generation of something after it divides into something new. All I can say is if I had a daughter that looked like Eddie Vedder, I'd name her Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Go get the hose, Petey and Chanta in the house with us. Why should fit be mine, Doc? I got some good news for you. You're about to move into a disrespect. that. I'm surprised that it's actually, the sports it only has the fiber the and for this the gibberish brush. Is, wash your filthy mind out. Okay, here's the bit. I'm gonna read off seven four-letter words, and for each one, I want you to tell me whether it's a popular magazine or a brand of soap. Am I doing a few like a spin? Magazine's name, press one. Spin if it's a brand beef. of soap, press two. And press four if you want to skip. I'll give you 500 okay. bucks for each right answer, and 500 will be taken away if you get it wrong or don't get to it. Okay, okay. give me 30 seconds on the clock. And we're off. Time magazine. magazine. Life. Magazine. Again. Lava. So. Cell. So. Dove. So. Zest. So. Last one. Out. So. That's all she wrote. You lost Five out of seven. At least you got the majority. Five out of seven. Look at your total score. Money goes up to 25%. Let's keep going. Okay, number nine. What the fan in the old faction? Baby, I love you to start with me. Just a little off the side ones, please. <laughs> See what we got going. Baby, I love your discography. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Okay, let me just say something. Paybacks really can be hell. You'll see what I mean after I bring in our guest host for this question. Today's guest host is my roommate's little brother, Kevin. Let's just say that I owe my roommate, all right? Now we're even. Kevin, get in here! 
Hey, the process by I Ryan played was actually you got a question one... for us or what? I sure do. Guess question. One of my heroes. What? No, 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 no. No questions about Frampton on my show, okay, Kevin? No, put away the talk box. Yeah, You're that, not doing that. I thought you were supposed to be nice to me. I mean, unless you... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just let's get this over with. Oh, God. Okay, you probably know that Frampton Comes Alive is one of the biggest selling live albums in history, right? Well, uninformed music fans may wonder where Peter Frampton went after he came alive on Alive. Considering his follow-up album's title, where did he go? Inside you, into his own mind, the Hotel Frampton, or on a camel ride? I'm not a big Peter Frampton fan. I'm not gonna guess at all. Let's take a look at the right answer. Frampton's follow-up to Comes Alive was the less successful, but still decent, I'm in you. And if any of you ladies out there would like okay, to come Okay, okay, you've had your fun. Now get out. <laughs> One more thing, Cookie. What? Frampton Rock! Get out! <laughs> okay, let's get back to the game now. Okay, number ten. What out three okay, about Jack, the, the youngest one in curls. Oh yes, it's time for your fantasies to be realized. You're joining a three-way. It actually does exist a question tag to go hands and deck to seeing the sales question tag, but it's never okay, used. Okay, this is simple, but hear me out anyway. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. Go for your buzzer when you see the correct three-way member lit up. If it's the right match, you'll score. But look out, it'll cost you a grand every time you're wrong. But don't be misled, this question may or may not have anything to do with the three-way as a group. All right, let's get this party rolling. This little three-way likes to call itself. One out of three ain't bad, but let's see if you can get all seven, okay? This three-way is going to be about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh. All righty, watch your buzzer. Here we go. We go. Okay. Less than zero. Not be locked. Oh, drugs. Oh, yes. Rattle and hum. That's a uh, rock and roll. Oh, yes. Deep throw. That's about sex. Oh, Don't ask yes. why I know that one. Damage. That'd be no. Rock and roll. Oh, sex. Oh, yes. Stop making sense. That's drugs, I believe. Okay. Nice dreams. Oh. Oh, yeah. well, at least that's not sexy. Oh, yeah. it like it, that's all we got now. Let's see how you did. Well, maybe three ways aren't your thing, but hey, it's yeah, always three ways are luring new cargo. Not that won't spend help enough your time at this point, but anyway, let's check it out. Just pennies well, on it's time to get back to the game, but uh, you will call me, right? That's it. That for round one. Okay. Let's never call round you. Two. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. Okay. I was a grammar All school right, junkie. Mr. Bubble is a wussy. Raisin raisins. Category. I was a grammar school junkie, and you pocket two thousand bucks if you get this one. All right, you can get a drug addiction, become hooked on cigarettes, or like Robert Palmer, be addicted to love. If you were actually hooked on phonics, what would you need to do for your next fix? Write in shorthand, learn the Greek phonics alphabet, spell sounds words without words words. Phonics is the study of word sounds. I sort of stick the phonetic alphabet for some reason. And believe me, it does lead to harder stuff. Okay. What? What's to get the woman who did the man and everything? Lay it on me. I'm gonna take you down. Coming at you. I'm gonna take you downs. That is four thousand dollars. Grab you. Hey, do you have twenty twenty vision? No. Yes. Well, either way, this question's for Yao. Uh, no. I I guess that's for you. Suppose that ABC wanted to create a show with better vision than its twenty twenty. In optometry, the best vision would be described in which of these new shows? Tonight on twenty thirty. This is twenty three hundred. Twenty one hundred goes undercover. Or a shocking twenty ten report. I think 2020 is perfect vision, so I would go 2030, but it'd be a logical guess. I don't think 2010 is possible. Let's see if this doesn't clear things up. 
2010 would be better vision than 2020. 2010 means that you can see from 20 feet away what a person with normal vision can see from 10 feet away. Tonight on 23,000. Wahaba, uh, uh, Marfo, Wolfa, Sertop, Chabwa. Okay. Knocked up. Okay, Who's I there? Eric's gay guy. Something make me so eloquent. Swing your partner one in three. A do si for the big third time. Oh, Mr. Sags and this was no a lot match. better than Something the Something to make me sound eloquent. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. You know what? I actually had to look this one up. Um, what's another word for thesaurus, thesis, threshold, treasury, or tracklement? A thesaurus. A dictionary, but... Out this treasure. What are you, stupid, slow-witted, dull, obtuse? It was. Roger lists treasury as another word for thesaurus. Uh. Don't believe me? Well, go ahead and look it up in your, uh, uh, you know, that, that big thing with all the words in it. A oh, dictionary, okay. A cat of worms is enough to open okay, it. A, a dog on a psychiatrist's couch. Shuffleboard on us. Boy, now it's time for some. Real oh trivia. my God! You've got an impossible question coming your way. <laughs> May I introduce a can of worms with nothing to open? Twenty k. Holy cow! Looks like this one's gonna be worth twenty thousand big ones. Okay, get your typing fingers ready, cause you're gonna have to buzz in and type out this impossible answer. Within two years, how much Say 48. could be? The can was invented in 1810, and the can opener was invented in 1858, 48 years later. <laughs> in a stroke of good luck, however, for the first 48 years, all canned food was spam. I guess they realized they didn't need to rush. <laughs> Innocent victims of China's prince. Cute spies. A bat looks at the bar. 54. Okay, give it up for innocent victims of childish pranks. Two thousand dollars says you don't know this one. I love prank phone calls, don't you? Let's listen in. I hate them. I hate them. Hello, ye old stuff. Can I help you? Yeah, do you have Prince Albert in a can? Why, well, yes, we do. What kind of store is ye old stuff? A mortuary, a tobacconist, a candy store, or a florist? Oh. What's say it? A tobacconist could be only a gas. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Well, Prince right. Albert is a kind of tobacco. And you better let him out or he might suffocate. <laughs> Shut up. Kiss by Grit's jacket, don't category. you come back no more. The real ending of Sissy King. Historical crap! Uh oh, left nut kick, I'm sore. A gibberish question. It's time. Okay. Let's see if you can make sense of this gibberish category. Historical crap. And ten thousand. Usually it's your right out in of the, the second gate round for this one. It's Harlan the first. Okay, you're gonna have about thirty seconds to solve this, but every second and a half, I'm taking away some money. Okay, let me know what historical phrase this rhymes with. A hot turd found uncurled. A hot turd found uncurled. First clue, it refers to the American Revolution. It refers to the American... Talk to me, type it's in... Your... around the world. Man alive, what the hell kind of gun was that guy using? Oh. Wish you were here. Balls, right. balls, balls. Whoa, pull out. I gotta go with the pink voice with reference. Number 17. Now serving. Wish you were here. For thousands of If it's not pink for them, be happy. Answer here. Take the Play Doh out of your ears because it's time for an audio question. Listen carefully. Okay, suppose you're walking through a cemetery and you hear this sound. All things considered, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. Considering the quote, who has been buried alive? P.T. Barnum, W.C. Fields, Harry Houdini, or Ralph Waldo Emerson? Very still dope. 
Our dosey fills are off over Elmer's side. No Houdini was buried in Detroit. I should have picked this. Yep. The epitaph on W.C. Fields' tombstone reads, All things considered, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Death can make you wish some really backwards things, you know? Yeah. Existential yeah, snack please. My cousin physics. Go now, Ninos. Well, looks like this category is my cousin vasectomy. This one can net you six thousand dollars. Flex but... those fingers, cause here it comes. Who of the following is most likely to lose a loved one to pneumoconiosis? The preacher's wife, the butcher's wife, the monkey's uncle, or the coal miner's daughter? Pneumoconiosis. Pneumoconiosis. I would guess the coal miner's daughter, but I've never heard of the term. For the curious, here's the right answer. Ah! Pneumoconiosis, also known as black lung, is a common illness among coal miners. Fortunately, it's not hereditary, or else Loretta Lynn would sound more like Joe Cocker. I have that not so okay, fresh feeling. Want to try a threesome? Whoops, Dr. Green, but the fingers! Step right up for question 19. The selection is, want to try a threesome? Get a right answer. Get me out of this. Away with four grand. Listen up, it's time for some quick math. Which of the following groups does not contain a number of people that is a multiple of three? New Kids the Block is people, Peter, five, Paul, I Mary, believe. New Kids on... There were five New Kids on the Block. Danny, Donnie, Joe, Jordan, and John. And those people had and six, the way, I believe, and the other two had the three. Children, the children of the world. Smash no deals. Okay, he has bumpy pretzel skin. Chess like them. Question number 20. Say hello to Shay Lecter. How does two thousand dollars sound? Hey, did you hear Hannibal Lecter is opening a swank new restaurant in town? Given Hannibal's dietary preferences, which dish would you not expect to find on the list of specials? Gluteus maximus goulash, latissimus dorsi with Limburger sauce, fried phloem, or creamed spleen? Never watched Sons of the Lamb, so I'm not gonna have a guess at this one. The same to the Jack and Tuck brought away, obviously. Here's what you should have picked. The phloem is actually part of a plant, not the human body. Hey, Charlie, I need some fried phloem to go. No, I said phloem. I think, it, I think that's a plant. Things I just want to swallow. Right, Four color my world. Jack attack. Okay. You're about to embark on the attack. Hit your buzzer when you see two words on the screen that match. Two thousand bucks if you're right, two thousand off if you're wrong. It's not so hard as long as you remember this. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Four. Hmm, could be about golf, but you never know. Let's, Let's check it out. North, South, East, West. This is basically the fourth part of the quick John Paul George and Ringo. Tom members the Beatles. Hey. Clubs, heart, diamonds, spades. Uh, seats in the deck. Bob, Ted, Carol, Alice. Not familiar what that was from. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter. Types of. Fleeky, Peter. Legal, bingo, drooper, and... Uh, Norky, I, I, again, I'm not heard that one. Jack, Queen, King's Ace. Of course, the uh, four highest in uh, the game of Boca. Okay. Hey, let go of the keyboard! You did great! Let's take a look at your final score! 49 and 5, I'll take it. I couldn't have done a better job myself, but then I wasn't playing by myself, was I? But seriously, player, and I don't say this to just everybody. You don't know Very Jack. nice work, people. Let's get those commercials going. Thanks for watching. Are we doing this again?